Rich Karani with TMC, thanks for watching. We're at CES 2013. I'm in the Nectar Mobile Power booth and I'm speaking with... Moli Romani, Vice President of Business Development at Nectar Mobile Power. Moli, tell me all about this really cool technology you have. Oh, you, we are so excited. What we have here is what we call the Nectar Mobile Power System. It's a single device that powers and recharges all of your consumer electronics devices, smartphones, digital cameras, Bluetooth headsets, anything that subscribes to the USB standard for two weeks without ever plugging it in. And I mean ever. The way it works is pretty simple. You've got a cartridge, what we call a nectar pod. Inside is a liquid fuel, it's butane. And we convert that butane on our system into electricity. You basically just simply plug in the nectar pod, it goes through the system. I'm just going to plug in my phone right now. And just like that, I'm charging my phone. Now, it'll do this for 14 times, so basically two weeks of power. There's more energy in here than 14 times of my phone. That's really what the advantage is. We've been working on this for about 12 years and we're rolling it out this week. Congratulations, it's a, a big accomplishment because you know, battery technology is one of the areas that's been um, slow to innovate. Um, you know, we, we know Moore's Law has done a lot for computing, but really battery power has had challenges. Uh, I have a mosquito magnet that I use in my house and it seems very similar in terms of it produces an electrical reaction from propane, so it's a similar kind of thing. And butane is something they use in lighters, right? That's exactly right, yeah. The cigarette lighting manufacturing industry has really perfected butane, very, very high energy density, and they've got enormous ability to manufacture. That's why we chose butane. People are comfortable with it. And it's safe too, well, right? We don't hear any problems with someone's lighter. Exactly, it's safe and it's convenient. In fact, we've got approvals to take these on airplanes and use them on airplanes. We've worked with the TSA, the DOT, ICAO, the International Civil Aviation Organization. We've got all of the approvals, and that's a, a credit to the safety record of the butane. Now, um, this will charge uh, smartphones. What about uh, tablets? Yeah, it'll charge e-readers, tablets, um, uh, anything basically that subscribes to the USB 2.0 standard. And almost all tablets do, not everyone, but anything that's a 2.0 USB standard we'll be able to do. And how heavy is it? Oh, it's really light. It's seven ounces. It's 200 grams for your metric uh, watchers and listeners. It feels just over a pack of cards, maybe a pack and a quarter of cards? Yeah, something like that. Uh, we say it's about as heavy as a pack of cards or uh, cigarettes if you actually, you know, still smoke cigarettes. <laughs> Excellent, and uh, the cartridges cost? Oh yeah, so the, the cartridges cost $10. You, bought, you order them online, either through us or through our partner, Brookstone. $10, two, it's the two weeks of power for about two cups of coffee is how we like to think about it. Seems to me that everyone should have at least one of these in their travel bag, their homes, right, because of uh, outages. I mean, we're on the East Coast, we just had Sandy, we've got all sorts of outages yeah. taking place. Uh, I think you're exactly right. The, there are business traveler usage, there's university student usage, there's outdoor people who want to use it, there's military use, but disaster recovery and safety is something that we think everyone should have one. It's like a big market for us. And it's worth mentioning that quite often batteries will lose charge, especially yeah. if they're cold. This is something you can just keep in your cigarette, I mean in your um, glove box or your trunk, right? Exactly, yeah. Battery technology discharges over time, and that's one of the big issues. If you have a lithium ion rechargeable recharger, oftentimes the time you need it, it's dead because it's discharged. Charge. With us, they never have that problem. Butane, you can put it on the shelf. Ten years later, you can pick that cartridge up. It'll still work. It's a great solution for that kind of problem. Actually, just realize that you may be able to have another market where you just plug that into your cigarette lighter and power your car if you have a dead battery. Yeah. You know, we, the, the power output isn't quite you know, up to my Audi yet, but one day maybe we'll be able to do that. Excellent. Thanks so much for your time. Hey, it's my pleasure. Thank you.